Hola Marias! Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will be sharing with you my first impression review as well as a wear test of a 2-in-1 powder that is the latest product line from the brand She Glam. It is their Insta Glam 2-in-1 Face and Under Eye Setting Powder Duo. If you want to know more about this product, then please keep on watching. Maria, Maria. Yes, Maria's She Glam sent me their latest product that is called Insta Ready Face and Under Eye Setting Powder Duo. So it's basically a two in one powder that is meant for your under eyes and one for your entire face. So I did several tests using this powder, including mask test, wear test, as well as waterproof test on my face so before i tell you all my thoughts about this product let's proceed with the wear test hey guys i am about to start working however it is the best time i think for me to try a product on a wear test so she glam sent me their entire shade range of their insta ready face and under eye setting powder duo so i got six shades one is actually translucent so that's what we are going to use right now let me find the translucent one because i don't usually wear makeup when i'm working kasi nga i'm work from home so basically ito yung itsura ng kanyang packaging ayan so ito very very fresh yung color niya it says here insta ready face and under eye setting powder duo and it is seven grams so basically set at the top part of the box, you will see the shade, translucent. And sa likod, at the back of it, are the ingredients. Alright? So, I will do a very, very quick powdering. I don't wear makeup at all except lip tint and brow cara because I rarely use the webcam. So, it's important that I keep the sebum at bay and reduce the oiliness. If ever, out of the blue, my boss decided to call me on a video and I need to make sure that I am video ready. It says Insta ready, but for me, I have to be Zoom ready all the time. So let's just open it. I remove the plastic. It's really a very, very cute packaging. And it's very tight packaging also that I cannot open. I hate breaking the packaging and I just did. All right, so once you have it open, you'll immediately see the product and this is how it looks like. I am She Glam Insta Ready. So again, I got the translucent one and they also gave me their sponge. So this is how it looks like. And again, this is just a wear test today. Tomorrow I'll give you my full review. This is the sponge. Yeah. All right, so when you open it, you will see a mirror. It has plastic still and this film. So make sure before you put any powder on your face that you have removed excess oil. And I just have sunscreen on my face. Now we're going to apply the under eye powder. But before that, let's remove the sticker. God, I love the sound of that when you're opening a new product. Sorry if I usually look at this way because I use the camera as my mirror. But now that we have a mirror here, this is what I will be using. So again, our under eye is dry and we will be using the tip of the sponge in order to apply it. And I usually dab here a little to remove excess and apply okay that instantly mattifies it and blur whatever is under my eyes do you see the difference it immediately brightens the under eye and smoothen it it blurs out all 
the fine lines. I'm not sure if you can see it. This is the without and this is the one with the under eye. I really love the shade because it's not really obvious. Can you see that? This is the before and this is the after. I really like it. It's not super pigmented in a way that it gives a white cast. It's just the right amount of brightness. It smoothens also my skin. I can barely see the pores from here to here. I mean, comparing it. Now let's proceed with a loose powder. So you open it like that. This is the pressed powder for the under eye. And as you can see, there's a sifter. So let's apply it. It basically has a sticker also. So to make sure that it will not mess up the powder, I will only remove half. And you can rotate it so that you can also have an opening if you need more powder for baking and all that sort. Okay, so we need to put the lid back, tap a little, and open. So we have powder now. Okay, so I'll use the other side. Put it here, transfer. Now we'll put it on the entire side of our face. Again, I don't use extra and make sure your face is dry. It kind of looks like I am baking because there's so much powder I'm putting, but I am going to dust it off later because we only have five minutes left before work. So, let's see if it will gonna blur out our pimple. So I will also compare this one with the Insta Bright under eye and this one is without. This was without, this is with. I like the sponge because it's velvet sponge. And that's it. Actually, without even using brush you can apply the powder because I'm not used to applying powder using just a sponge except it's if it's a puff but it actually work so I think that's it I'll insert a photo of this a high definition photo before and after I will do a check-in every two hours and see if this will actually make any difference compared to regular powder so I'll see you guys later Hello guys, so it has been four hours from the time we apply the powder and as you can see there's a little shininess on my nose already because I am definitely an oily combination to oily person and let's see there you go I'm on my lunch break sorry for the dog noise yes there's definitely oiliness but other than my t-zone everything is looking fine and silky do you see that i'm loving it so far i hope it will hold up until the eighth hour so we'll see you guys later hey maria so it is 2 30 a.m and i will be doing flash test photography because this claims to be insta ready all day
Okay guys, it has been seven hours since I had the powder applied on my face. Now is our oil test. And as you can see, a fresh, I still look fresh and flawless. Although it is pretty obvious that there is some oil buildup on my nose. I'm just trying to plug my lighting and we will be doing a blot test. Okay, so again, one break. All right, so I will click photos first before I blot. Okay, para makita natin if it's um if it's really instant ready even after seven hours. And now we are ready to blot. I have a blotting sheet and. Here you go. You can definitely see the oil, but this is after seven hours. On the fourth hour, it will start to shine up a little bit and the oil will start building up on the fifth hour. Five, six, seven. On the seventh hour is the time you need to blot. On the fifth, sixth hour, it's a fine even if you're not blotting. Yan. And he, it is actually good enough amount of oil, but blotting is fine. The question is, will you still look matte and flawless after blotting? We were only able to consume one paper and the oil is gone looks like you're so fresh again as if nothing happens see no signs of cracking dryness or anything it looks flawless still so I'm really liking this powder so far even on my under eyes there's no powder that settles on the crease creases and it's still so smooth to touch so that's it for our wear test i will get back to you after one more hour perhaps um to complete the eight hour wear test but tomorrow i'll see you with the wear test with a tinted one or the one that has my shade on it so i'll see you guys tomorrow okay maria so it's been an hour from the time that we did blot and this is how it looks like after blotting super 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 smooth but then although the pores are already visible it's very understandable because it's eight hours already but i didn't get any creasing that much where i put the glasses and there's no build up under my creasing on my under eyes so that's a good sign now i'll see you guys tomorrow all right guys it's the following day and now what we are going to do is to do another test but it's for the application so we're going to check which one is more compatible is it the sponge that they are suggesting along with the insta ready line or it's the convenient way of using a powder which is everyone's go-to application because of course when it comes to powder we really use powder brush but for my under eye i normally use a sponge or a puff something like this so that's what i will be doing so on this side of my face we are going to use the tinted one and i have the shade bisque this one is what i will be using on this side of my face without anything on just skincare and my sunscreen now on this side of my face i will show you a clip that i applied foundation and we will be using the translucent one as a mode of setting powder and not just alone so on this side we will be able to check if there's any coverage that the tinted one will be able to give so i prefer applying this using a powder puff so i will do that on this side of my face to set the under eye but again make sure that it is dry you don't want to have excess oil or sweat on your face before setting it in place with powder because as the term itself setting then it is making it input or in place so now we are going to apply it i'm just getting a little and tapping the excess on the side and now i am applying it on the under eyes 
immediately there's a brightness and blurring effect. As you can see, the lines under my eyes are less visible than this one. It gives you the contour and the shade and also the lines. This one is immediately brightened. So since they have the same under eye color, pareho lang naman, the same. I will be using the same puff for the under eye. But this one, this side of my face doesn't have foundation. As you can see, it immediately blurs. It really gives you the brightening effect and blurring effect. Okay, now we'll proceed with the powder. So, the powder that I will be using is Bisque on this side of my face and the translucent just to set the foundation we put in place. So, as you can see, there are two different colors. Bisque is the lightest among the shaded powder. So, I will be applying it on the entire face and see if there's any coverage. So, I got Bisque. And I will be putting some here. And this is how the powder looks like. For swatch, it is very, very lightly tinted. And the other one, translucent for this side of my face. So I will just do a fast forward of this one because I already showed you the application yesterday. So let's do that. Alright guys, so I am done powdering my face. Again, on this side of my face, I used the shade Bisque. And on this side of my face, I applied a very light amount of foundation and used the translucent powder or the shade translucent in order to set the entire face just like how we normally use translucent. And this side, I try to use it as the base itself and I can immediately see that this one is a little whitish not really giving me a white cast but you know that you powdered with translucent one unlike on this side it actually gives me a little tint of warmth that is quite neutral as well so it's not really yellowish but it gives me the neutral shade that i usually use for my powder when i am trying to highlight some parts of my face so again this is how it looks like and immediately you will see blurness it blurs my pores around here. I have enlarged pores around here and also brightened my under eyes. So that's it for the application. I will just finish the rest of my makeup and then I will share with you later on what is my full verdict about this product. you my final thoughts regarding this product let's go through one by one the thoughts that i have with insta ready she glam face and under eye setting powder let's start with the price it is only 319 pesos bakit only only because this is already a two-in-one powder you have an under eye powder and a setting powder that is loose so if you actually want you can take this to your bag because this one has its own lock mechanism and it will actually keep itself sanitized just don't leave some powder on top make sure that you have it inside the container and you can leave it as is and you can take this with you as a touch of powder this can definitely fit in any of your bag or even your makeup pouch so for the price of 319 pesos, I think it's very, very affordable. And when it comes to the sponge, it is, I think, 175 or 172 pesos. 
This one is not really a two-in-one sponge. This is meant for powder because it's a velvet. So it's really up to you if you prefer this one. But it really works well with the Insta Ready She Glam Powder. So if you have the budget, this is just about 500 bucks together. So you can also do that. And I already have a discount code for you guys that is on the description box below it will give you a 15 percent discount for all your purchases in sheen website and if uh, there is a shipping fee you don't have to worry because the product you will purchase will have a 50 percent discount so if you have friends that wanted to try this also i would suggest you buy in bulk two three or five pieces so that you will be able to utilize the discount code now for the shade range it comes with six so you will have bisque and translucent which i showed you earlier you will have coco loco or cocoa loco smooth sand toasted almond and natural linen so those other four are definitely on the morena to darker side so i will insert the clip here of the shades that they have from their website so that you can have it matched on your skin tone so the shade goes like two in one powder so the translucent one is definitely universal bisque is somehow between nc20 to nc25 which i am nc25 and it matches my skin perfectly it is very very light coverage it's not really meant to be used alone it is better under foundation which is how we usually use powder now now for the application it really varies from your preference so if you prefer or if you're used to using powder brush then you can also do that but this sponge i must say really works with this one however if i have to suggest something with them i would rather have a sponge that fits inside or a puff that fits inside so that it's really on the go when you take it with you you already have a sponge or a puff and like this one you will not be able to protect this when you put this in your bag unless you have container or whatever you need to do to protect now this. for the mask test i am so shook the fact that it is tinted on this side it did not actually leave anything on the mask well it will vary if you are sweating already perhaps it will transfer however this is claiming to be waterproof i was not able to test that maybe later on at the end of the video but this is waterproof we have a video on their channel wherein they do a test wherein it shows that it's waterproof so that's definitely a plus point now let's go to the claims of this product first of all is it really insta ready the answer is yes even after having it on my face for seven hours it still allows me to be picture perfect when it comes to photography even if there is a flash there's a very 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 little hint of flashback using the translucent powder just because it is definitely white so it's gonna give you a little brighter complexion than the usual which is the one on this side i will insert a clip of a flash test on a regular lighting versus low light photography they both have flash and as you can see half of my face is a little brighter than the other one but it's not really a flashback that is ghostly that gives you a very very white cast it's just gonna give you a brighter complexion than the usual one like on the other side it's very close to my skin tone so it's not really giving you that flashback at all so for me that's definitely a plus point as well and lastly for the wear test is it really gonna make your face long lasting matte and flawless the answer is yes up to five hours without retouching you will keep the sebum at bay and you will not have shiny face it will only give you that natural healthy glowing face after five hours which is not really bad and up to seven hours you can get away without blotting without the greasy feel on your face and after blotting even on the eighth or ninth hour your face will still be flawless and picture perfect ready so that's it for my thoughts regarding this product if i you i will use the promo code and ask all my friends out there so that you can buy in bulk and definitely try it on your own just check the website down below it's the sheen philippines website so that you will be able to access the discount code that i will be giving you 
So that's it for today's video. I must say this is compatible for all skin type. May it be dry, combination, or oily skin. You can definitely use this powder depending on the layering. You can go from mild even using it as a baking powder set your makeup in place this is a perfect powder for you again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on my next video goodbye